It's replacing a stereo on a 2014 Smart. This specific model is electric. All right, so first you have this console with the emergency button. You can put your hand in and uh, uh, pry it out like this. And there is a screw inside. Yeah, thank you. It's a 20 size. Just be careful, don't drop it. Anyway. Uh, same 20, just in case. So then you're prying this one on a side with a uh, pry bar. Just stick it on the inside. Uh, work your way out until it disconnects. And same thing on the other side. And the front plate is out. Then you guys get two screws here. Uh, uh, same Torx driver, one here, right here. Let's keep it. Yeah. Either. Two screws. And two more screws holding the stereo. And the two more screws holding the stereo coming out. Luckily it's the same T20, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's an antenna on the back. Yeah. So I see it. I don't know what's used for, but okay. Go on the bottom. So this is one. And that's it, the deck is out. We're not going for super update, just a simple stereo swap. This is the adapter part number. This is the unit, and we just connected regular uh, bullet plugs at the end of the adapter and the end of stereo. I'm using this kit for the adapter, for the 2DIN adapter. It can do 1DIN or 2DIN. Since we're using a 2DIN stereo, just need this piece and the two side pieces. So first, just connected regular oh, adapter. It uses the standard wires to the wiring harness of the deck. Uh, that's the deck we're using. It's just a cheap Chinese GPS deck, nothing fancy. And you just call a match, there's nothing special about it. So, uh, the two of the wires, like these, one is for auxiliary and one is for USB that go inside the glove box. And uh, we don't really have an adapter for it, so I'll probably just remove it and keep it for when we return the car. So, to pull out the USB adapter, just went inside there, there's a metal clip, push on it, comes out, push on it at the same time, pull on this side, it comes out, you go with your hand on the back, press on the back clip, and this comes out. Actually, the easiest way for removal was to remove the connector from inside the adapter. And then just fish it out backwards. And I guess that way you can insert it. So just taking off the weather stripping because we want to run the GPS antenna to this location. I'm just going to hide the antenna pigtail inside the plastic and to make it better and easier. Well, it, you'll be there anyway. No. Yeah. 
So there's just disconnecting two plastic pieces to run the black wire behind. And just hiding the wire behind the trim. And then the wire, the wire is going to run just behind this rubber seal and behind the instrument panel. So to install microphone, we want to install it right there just behind the light. So removing one screw is Torx 20 again, just to loosen the sealing a little bit. And we'll run the wire behind the trim. On the driver's side, behind the trim, behind the panel again, and to the deck. Uh, so we're just running again. Same thing. <coughs> Remove the weather strip a little bit and just running the wire just along the way to the bottom and behind that rubber gasket. So when you're screwing the adapters to the stereo, make sure before you tighten it, set the depth of the radio, how far it goes in, and test it, uh, dry test it with the adapter, so it fits in. We did dry test it, and it fits okay. Now we'll get the radio. And it's adapter. basically like this on the front of the radio. You can see there is very little space between the adapter and the end of the radio. Let's take a seat. All right, a small update on the wiring harness. Looks like there was a wiring change, and the adapter that I showed you guys in the beginning uh, doesn't work straight out of the box. So the wiring harness, so this is the smart side, and this is the stereo side, right? The yellow wire for the memory is fine, but the red wire power to the stereo is not. By default, it comes into this hole, right below the yellow, which is not uh, the right location on the wiring harness on the car. On the car, it's on this pin. So what we did is we moved the red wire on the adapter from this location to this location. and. In order to move it, you simply you simply stick a small tiny screwdriver in there, and when you do it, work work the red wire out, and that's it. You also need the adapter uh, between the antenna for the generic radio and the Mercedes style adapter. We're going with generic style, but you can get one universe, like specific, not universal. The cost for those things. There is a plenty of space behind this uh, deck for the wiring, so it should be pretty easy to stuff in if you have a bit of a red nest. And now just reattaching all the screws back in. Actually, you know what? Uh, why? By the way, up. Yeah, carefully mount that metal bolt. Be careful not to drop it, otherwise it'll be a hell of a time getting it out. Uh, 
And the last step, just to clip the panel back in. And that's it, you're done. Oh, that GPS.